Pleased to be joined now by the head coach of the Indiana Hoosiers, Tom Allen. Coach, heading into year two at the helm here, you had not been a head coach at this level before. So what did you learn in the first year that you think will help you as you move forward? Well, I think, you know, the biggest <clears throat> things are, you know, when, when it comes down to how you manage your staff and, and how you, you know, delegate responsibility to those guys, I think that's probably the biggest thing, you know, learning to, to trust those guys. You, you have to do that. You can't do it all yourself, and especially with me staying in the role as defensive coordinator. So I think that's step number one. And number two, just on the field, you know, working through the, the adjustments that we have to make uh, when you're, you know, offense is on the field and defense is on the sideline. You're working through that and, and just being able to communicate with the hit, with the guys in the press box and our offensive staff. So I just feel a lot more comfortable with that process and, you know, add some new staff guys. And I think that uh, I just think you get better when you do something twice and uh, expect to be better this year. Coach, there's a lot of rules about what you can do at practice, no more two-a-days. So the game's changed as far as preparing for the season. What's your philosophy on scrimmages? How many will you have? Will you go long? How do you deal with that? Well, we're going to have, we call them three preseason games. And so we'll have preseason game number one will be our first big full scrimmage. And then we'll have a preseason game number two and about 100 and 105 snaps in those first two. And then the third preseason game is our mock game where we'll simulate. It'll be one week before the night that we play. Whatever time we kick off, that's the time we'll kick off for, for the mock game. It's, it's uh, not a full um, padded scrimmage, but it'll be full situations going through all the warm-up, locker room, come back out, go through all the mechanics with the sideline, the press box, and all that. So uh, really two full scrimmages and then the preseason game. How does the new freshman rule, being able to play four games, any four games, does that change what you do in the summer? Well, it, what it's really changed more than anything is it's, it's created a sense of urgency for the whole class. You know, because those freshmen, they all know that they're on standby. You know, they have the opportunity to play. And so before, you know, you, you take one step on the field, and that counts as a whole year. And so now those guys know their chance of playing has gone way up. So uh, I don't know if this changed our summer, but here's what it did change is that we had to have a good plan, and we've, we've done that so far. Uh, it's kind of you'll, you'll see how it plays out, you know, because you really don't know when you're going to play certain guys. But the plan was to be able to get a, a certain number of guys ready to be on special teams, be on offense and defense, and then get them the proper reps during fall camp. Okay. Now that you're in camp, do you get a feel for the depth of certain units that really need to have a good camp and progress? Which units are? Yeah, there? I would say, first of all, linebacker. You know, we, we lost so much to graduation, and uh, we got a lot of guys there that are young, untested, and so we got to get our depth developed and grown there. And I think that uh, um, each and every day you, know, you find out a little bit more about that group. Uh, I think the safety group as well is, is big in that area just because, of, once again, graduation. And uh, and for me, you know, the offensive line, even though we have everybody back with so many injuries last year, I want to feel really good about having 10 guys that we can count on at those positions there. We know that, hey, these five guys are ready to roll. These five guys are ready to go right behind them. Well. Talk about the quarterbacks. Got to ask you, can't let you get out of here without that. How have they been developing? Well, you know, I think it's a process for sure, you know, and every guy has a, a better day than, than maybe he did the day before, and, and that always changes. But, uh, you know, to me it's about uh, having a systematic way to evaluate them. We're very open and honest with them. We're trying to get all the guys in, in a lot of different situations, a lot of different groupings, and uh, be able to see how they respond. And it's about moving the football, you know, and you get the chance to, you know, as we did today, team move the ball. We get down the red zone, you got to score, and uh, to be able to, to chart those and be able to see who's who takes the team and, and puts the ball in, across the goal line. And then, you know, I want our to be able to feel with confidence that, that our team believes in that guy. And that, to me, is the key. Coach, I know one of the off-season priorities is always to physically look better. Certainly the stadium physically looks better. You've made this huge improvement here, the South End Zone project. We had a chance to go inside, and it's beautiful. Give people a sense of what's in there and the impact you think it can have on your program. Well, first of all, we had our first, you know, meeting from for team camp up in there you know and had our first meal in there and so obviously the the middle section is our dining hall and the tobias nutrition center is its proper name and so that's where we'll have all of our meals for our training table and breakfast lunch and dinner and uh, the players are fired up you know it's a major improvement from what we've had and and the food was awesome and uh, the guys love being in there and uh, great very spacious beautiful great job the lower level is all the you know the um the training room facility for all sports we'll have a football only training facility here underneath our stands renovated um next season we'll We'll use the one that's already there right now for the rest of this season and then up on the third floor you basically have a president's lounge a lot of places an opportunity to be able to you know have people here on game day and just to be able to improve the atmosphere and it's all about you know player development and it's going to be our medical center for all of our student athletes and it's just first class and so we're really excited about the excellence academy that's housed in there and all that does to help our students to become a full student from top to bottom head football coach here at iu tom allen coach thanks a lot for your time you're very welcome have a great day leo